Hey guys, welcome to another Hearthstone video. Today we are taking on all of the class challenges. So we are starting out with the first one, playing as a Warlock. So this should be very exciting. I think we've got six or seven. We've got seven, I think. I, I think I can... <laughs> I, think I, I think I got it. But yeah, these are the class challenges, meaning... We will be facing the bosses that we faced in the Wings of Karazhan, but without, not my decks. This is the decks that the game specifically gives me, so it's like challenges because I didn't make my own decks. But in a way, they're actually, I think, even easier than the normal challenges because they give you decks that are hard, but they're meant for you to win with them. So in a way, it's like a free win because you're supposed to be able to win with it. So we got a good little draw here. Sure, man. We are going to be playing the Flame Imp first because it is a one mana minion. Are you sure? Alright, mice. There you have it. Alright, so let's play these two. And I guess I'll, I guess we'll take out <clears throat> him. Alright, I, f keep, I always forget that you guys maybe don't even know how this game works or what this challenge is. So, <clears throat> in this challenge, how it works is, this is based off Romeo and Juliet, you could probably tell by now. So, her hero power is to summon Romeo. And when she does that, she's immune. So, whenever I attack her, I have to make sure that Romeo is gone. She only has 15 health, and then if you don't know how Hearthstone works in general, well, then you might want to either play the game, it is free, or you might want to look up some videos. But, yeah, the, this challenge is specifically, that's how it's meant to be. That I always have to get rid of Romeo to actually attack Juliet. So what are we going to do next? Let's see what card we get. I guess that's pretty good. So how I see how this challenge should go for me personally is get rid of Romeo as soon as possible and start rushing the face because that's the way that you win you have to do it fast and quick alright what are we gonna do And I think this is actually a win right here. <clears throat> We're going to kill her. Yeah. By next round, she should be dead. So that is already a win, guys. So like I said, this challenge is supposed to be a challenge, but it's really not that hard. They give you decks that you can win with pretty easily. You know, we might not win this round, but we'll definitely win next round. Yeah, we're not going to win this round because we don't have enough attackers, but we'll win next round for sure. All she can do is... Oh, that's not good. That hurts a bit. <clears throat> but it's okay because we'll have one minion to kill Romeo and the other one to kill Juliet, so we'll be good. We will be good. And we have a spell. So. That is the first challenge done, guys. And that is a quote. Alright, guys. Next challenge. Let's get going. We're going to have to play with a paladin. We are going to play with a paladin. It's been pouring the champagne for pretty long. Come on now. There we go. Alright, so next challenge on the way. The Big Bad Wolf. Run away, little girl. Run away. I will fight with honor. Alrighty. 
So we'll just keep all of these. Why not? I so love audience participation. Run, little guest, run! Look at your minions. See how they shrink before me. I'm okay with this. I think we're just gonna what are we gonna do So we'll do that. Oh, spooky taunts. Spooky. Alright, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? We'll play this, I guess. Just, no, maybe not. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Just skips his turn. I'm okay with this. Ooh, that's a good card. I don't have enough mana. It was actually a really easy fight. This wasn't even that hard of a fight. Really wasn't that hard of a fight. Easy, easy, easy. And we'll finish them off ourselves. Nice. There goes another challenge. <clears throat> Alright, next up. The Curator. With a Hunter deck. So this should be... Should be pretty interesting. Versus the curator. Alrighty. Do not touch the displays. <clears throat> I will touch all the displays. Okay, we got two spells. We'll get rid of all of these. None of these are gonna help me early game at all. Other than the weapon, but the other other weapon. But I need minions, not a weapon, so. Alright. <clears throat> Explosive trap is decent. It's a spell or it's a secret, but it's a decent this secret, I guess. Is equipped for menagerie management. I can already tell this deck's probably going to have a lot of secrets in it. Alright, I guess we'll just release Bear Trap. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. Bring me steel! Oh, that's good. I like that. <clears throat> I like that. This curator is allergic to beasts. The curator is confused. You'll need to stop it before it releases everything. Yeah, probably. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to rush it. <clears throat> What to do, what to do. Yeah, but what I'm going to...
plan to do here is rush it. With all gallery protocols. Rush it kind of hard. All right, we'll be able to use. Oh, that's so good. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Right to the face. That was that was beautiful play, guys. That was beautiful play. I'll never tell. That was some beautiful play, guys. Right there. That was some beautiful play. Yeah, we need to rush it a bit. Mm-hmm. So, that'll get out of the way, which is nice. Alright, with the bear. And he... Okay. Well, that would be nice, but my secrets, I don't have any left, so. Demons do not belong in the menagerie. You are not that makes me sad. All right, we need a, that's actually a win. What am I, what am I talking about? All right, there's a win right there. All right, easy, easy, easy. Another class challenge down. Easy, easy, easy. Let's go ahead and do the next one with a mage. Which a mage deck. Which is very exciting. Very, very, very exciting. So we are facing Nightbane. Jaina versus Nightbane. You asked for it. You know what, we'll get rid of all of them. I don't think any of those will help me right away. Alright, those are even worse. Those are actually terrible. But, we'll make do. Loose That's not bad. May come to harm. They must be <clears throat> see what we get. Those are decent. I'll take one of those. Thank you. Well, at least he gave me one of them. Yeah, we'll just polymorph that <coughs> and then play it back. Ooh. Well, that is at least not 10 damage to our face. So that is very good. That, that's good. I'm okay with that. And he probably would have uh, done that to my uh, Arcane Giant. So I'm happy that he took care of... That I took care of that Pyroblast with... Oh, man, that's not so good. Because that minion was 2-8. This one's at 8-8. So at least he took that one out. Let's go ahead and get our, get our Arcane Giant back. There we go. Alright, that is pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, we're going to have to take that out. But he gave me it. Ah, oh, that's... <clears throat> this is just beautiful. This is beautiful. Is that a win, actually? That is a win. This game is easy, guys. This game is way too easy I'm just gonna be honest this game is easy honestly I don't even know why these call these why they call it class challenges these are more of 
free wins with cards that come with it. So, Next challenge. We are going to be playing against Ilhof with a warrior deck. Let's do it. Ilhof. <clears throat> or death. Let's get rid of all these. I'm sure there's something better in this deck. Alright, that whirlwind is gonna be my way to victory. I'm gonna have to wait until he gets a bunch of those imps and then we'll win using the whirl. If you guys don't know how this works, I can't attack him directly. He does not take any damage. The only way he takes damage is to destroy those imps. Those imps do two damage to him and he summons those imps. Whenever those imps die, they resummon. Therefore, if he puts one on the board, it really ne never disappears. So, what I'm gonna do to try to win this game is using that whirlwind. I'm gonna let him get a bunch of imps on the thing. It'll kill at all of them obviously because they're all one ones and that'll lead to my victory so that is my game plan now that you guys know that we can go ahead and play icky 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 yeah you are icky 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 there's another whirlwind those two are gonna carry me to victory this game is going pretty well. We've got two cards in hand that'll help us quite a bit, which is pretty nice. Okay, so, yep, they're going to destroy themselves on that, which is very nice. <clears throat> Alright, what can we do here? What can we do? Practice makes perfect. Strike. Start this 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 one is going to be pretty easy to win, honestly. <clears throat> there should be nothing hard about this one. I just need him to summon more imps. That's what I need him to do. More imps, the better. <clears throat> and actually, that is a win, I'm pretty sure. That is a win. Just enough damage to get that win. Just enough. I told you guys, those were wins. That's the thing that's going to get me the win. Alright. That is another challenge done. I like it. Next challenge, we're going to have to beat Shade of Aron with a rogue deck. <clears throat> so it's going to be quite interesting. Let's see what we can do. Valera versus the Shade of Aron. I'll teach you respect. Watch your back. Alright, let's get rid of these two. I'm going to keep the shifter just in case it transforms into something amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Mal Thalnos is pretty good. No Swash Burglar is even better. <clears throat> That's a pretty good card. I kind of wish I would have gotten some high cost card, but that is pretty good too. We'll go ahead and play Thalnos. Spooky music. Alright, fam. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and steal some of his cards. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm going to play Flamewalker. I'll steal his cards in a bit. I actually do want to apply some pressure onto the board first. Play Swash Burger, Burger, Swash Burger. Let's see what we get. 
Ooh. That is a card. Antonitis. Antonitis, that could be a fun card to play with. Alright, that is pretty good. Oh, he's going to play two of them. Oh, this guy's going crazy. Excuse me, you are on fire. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Place a minion. If he summons anything gigantic, we'll get one of it. That is pretty big for us, actually. That is a good minion. Only thing that would have been better is something like Antonitis, but I'm not waiting that long. Malagos, that is amazing, but I can't play it, so. Feels bad. Alright, so let's start applying a bit of pressure. We'll freeze his minion too, just in case something crazy happens. That's fine. Eight damage to a minion. That I'm okay with this. Actually, I think is that a win? Actually, I don't think that's a win yet. But that's it's, uh, by next turn. Actually, we should have a win on our hands. Right away. Here we go. Yeah, by next turn, I think we should have a win. Or even by not maybe next turn, but a turn after that, for sure, a win. 100%. Excuse me, you are on fire. Yeah, yeah actually, then, never mind. What am I saying? That actually is a win, I'm pretty sure. No, just kidding. We need one more turn. That would have been a win right there, but I'm frozen, so... Oh well. Alright, yeah, by next turn we should have this win. Unless he has a fireball. And he's not even doing it to my face, so it's, it's okay. Nice. Is there anything cool that I can do? That's a real question, though. Right away. Is there anything that I can do? It doesn't look like it. Alright. Done. That is another win, guys. That is another win. So, meaning, I think we have one class challenge left. One? Yes, only one. So we got a druid versus... That one dragon, I forgot. Nether Spike, I think that's his name or whatever. Nether Spire. Alright. One more ch class challenge, and then if we do this, Nether Spike. We'll technically be done with Karazhan. There's only one other thing that we can do, and that is the cha like the challenges, but you get nothing from it, so technically I don't even count it. So after this fight, we are done with Karazhan 100%. Let's see. I guess we'll get rid of those. We'll just get rid of all of them. But yeah. Enchanted Raven's really good. It's really good. Those beams empower the dragon. Use minions to block them. My experiments! Leave them alone. But yeah, this is the last one. So guys, sadly, it's going to end soon. But for now, let's keep... Let's try to win this one. We're not done just yet. Sadly, I can only do two damage to him instead of eight. Because we don't have a minion on the other end. But, but, but we'll try to get one over there. And he doesn't even hit it. He hits face. Hmm. So let's go ahead.
ahead and do that. Stop touching the portals. The flux modulations are precisely tuned. I'm good, fam. I'm good. I'm about to take these portals with me. And now he's gonna take out that raven. Just like I thought. Oh no, he has. Oh, that wasn't good. Alrighty. Alright, cool. We gotta play something on the other end now. So let's go ahead and play this mounted raptor on that end. And buff that up. So we can do 10 damage. Alright, guys. We are very close to winning. I even might start my outro right now. Guys, thanks so much for watching, guys. I always appreciate you guys watching. You guys know that. If you had fun watching today, leave a comment. I will respond to you. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a personal channel. And I will see you guys later. This was the last thing of Karazan. So next week we'll get back to normal Hearthstone videos. Very excited. God bless and goodbye.